it will make an attempt to create closed captions for your file. The emphasis here is attempt. Perhaps in the future YouTube will be able to perform this function practically flawless, but at the present time you cannot depend on this transcript to be usable for accessibility and universal design. For example, let us take a look at this transcript for the audio for this file. Greetings from Kuwait. I'm Arianne Nestor. The music you've just heard is the call to prayer broadcasted from a nearby mosque. When my husband Carl accepted a position to teach at the Gulf University for Science and Technology, we moved halfway around the world. This is something our friends and family had a hard time understanding. To them, Kuwait would mean that our life would be constantly in danger. And it is, but not from terrorists, from traffic. You may be thinking that the transcription is particularly bad because I speak in a strong southern accent and the other voice has a Middle Eastern accent. However, if you looked at other YouTube videos, you would notice the same problem. Fortunately, you can create a transcript and replace the transcript that YouTube provides with one of your own. Amazingly, it matches your transcript to the voiceover very well. Let me show you how. First, create your own transcript. Although you can transcribe your video after it is complete, the best way is to create the script first and then use it to record your video. After you have typed out your transcript, copy and paste it into a basic text editing program. Because I work on a Mac, I copied mine from InDesign into the text editor. If you're using a PC, you can copy the transcript from Word into a text editor like Notepad. Save the file as a TXT file. If you happen to be in YouTube in this view, you can always get to your captions by clicking here. This is where you have the option to add captions and where we will upload the captions that you just made. Click on the Add Captions. Upload transcript. This is where I have the file. You may have to scroll over. Click Sync. Transcript is in progress. Please check again in a while. And it does take a few minutes, so we're going to pause and give it a chance to do that. As you can see, we now have another track, and if you click it, it has uploaded the whole transcript. Now what we want to do is make it the track that's used when someone clicks on the video. So let's go to the track list. And you see we have two active tracks. I want to take the automatic caption track. Go under Actions and put Disable. So now the active track is the track that we made. Let's try it. <laughs> Greetings from Kuwait. I'm Arian Nestor. The music you've just heard is the call to prayer, broadcasted from a nearby mosque. When my husband Carl accepted a position to teach at the Gulf University for Science and Technology, we moved halfway around the world. This is something our friends and family had a hard time understanding. To them, Kuwait would mean that our life would be constantly in danger. And it is, but not from terrorists, from traffic. As you can see, it's fairly easy to make a YouTube video accessible. If you need to make some small changes you can also make it here but I recommend if you have large changes just to delete this file and upload a new one for it to sync correctly. Okay it's your turn give it a try.